Now let me show you something that I think can change your life on this because it's made a huge difference to me. When you find yourself like this, you're in terribly turbulent waters, okay? The word meditation, rumination, pondering scripture, you take whatever it is, that thing, that person that's driving you nuts, that emotion of despair, of, of, of frustration, the reaction that it produces in you, and here's what you do. You stand apart from it. You just stand apart from it and, and observe it. Go ahead, look at it. Look at it. Look at your thing, your frustration. Notice it. What is it? What, who is it? And, and let me ask you some questions about this. Have they done this for a while? Or did they just start doing this? Have you struggled with this thing for a long time? Or is it a recent anxiety? How long have you felt this way? If you were to put a word to this thing, what would that word be? If this thing out here, if you were just observing it, and you were to describe it as a color, what would that color be? If you were describing it as a sound, what sound? So just stand apart from it. Don't judge it. Don't, don't try to fix it. Don't assign a value to it. Just look at it. Almost as if you're looking at someone else's conflict, someone else's problem. And the question is this, friends, right here. If you can do this with whatever your stress and anxiety and tension is, if you can hold it apart and look at it, who is observing it? The answer is... You are. You're observing it. Right? So let me ask you, have you had this conflict every, every day of your life? No. Is it always been exactly like it is right now? Probably not. Has it always been exactly this kind of tension in you? No. Probably not. Have you always struggled with the exact same thing in the exact same form that you're looking at it right now? Probably not. And so at some profound level, hang with me here, at some profound level, this thing, your army to rest with, this thing that's in front of you is temporary and is passing, and you are not, right? This turbulent thing is changing, it's temporal, and there's something about you that goes on and on and on. Am I right? Yeah. But when you meditate, when you ruminate, when you observe it, when you look at it with kind of a non-judgmental detachment, you notice it. What are you doing? You're reminding yourself that it's passing and it's temporal and it's not part of you, that you are not this. This is you. And you will go on and on in your soul. And this will pass. Now, let me just ask you this. How did the first Christians talk about this? They did it in some fascinating ways. How could they do this with persecution? I'll tell you how they did it. One example of the way that they talked about this exact thing was just like this. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. I live, the life I live, I now live in the body, but I live it by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. You see? They had something that was grounded and centered. It was in the reality of Christ. And there's part of you that, you know, this thing would have driven me nuts before. This would have offended me. This would have just made me perturbed. And, and you still look at this thing, and you don't, you don't ignore it. You're not in denial. You observe it. You witness it. You do what you can to fix it. But you know that that thing does not own me. I belong to Christ. I'm crucified with Christ. You see? You're extracting that tension, that emotion. You're placing it in proper context. And then you can be reminded, this is the true me. I have a soul. I have an enduring self that belongs to Christ. That's how the early Christians talked about it. I'm a new creation in Christ. I used to be offended by all this stuff. It used to drive me nuts. Now I've got an unshakable center that I know goes deeper and lasts longer than anything that comes my way. I'm preaching now. Come on. <laughs> Help me out here. Listen. 
ruminating on scripture, meditation, that's exactly what you're doing. That's exactly what you are doing. I can give this thing what it needs. I can pay attention to it. I'm not in denial. I can work to resolve it, but I am not confused. This is not me. 